happy Canada Day, folks. It's been an awesome year. From incredible cultural displays, with captivating music and street park fun festivals to electrifying fireworks coming later in the day, I bring to you the sights and sound of how Canadians, especially Calgarians, are celebrating this special day. Today, Canada is 155 years old. Hooray! From street to street, Harleys, side corners, highways to the bus stop, everyone is dressed up with a touch of red and white in anticipation of celebrating this special day. Hi, I'm Larry Ajayi, and I'm reaching now on channel 1973.1 DT on people, places, and events. This is Master Speaks to Me, the Canada Day Special Edition. Coming to you from around my beautiful city of Calgary in Alberta, Canada. Two years ago, I was here and little did we all know that things would take a dramatic turn world over because of an unexpected worldwide shutdown. Thanks to COVID anyway. It was a challenging season in the calendar of humanity. The world went silent with so many moments of pain and agony. But at last, we overcame, dealing a blow to the pandemic. And now, we are back. Our world is back from the pandemic. And in the same spirit of excitement, we join the world, especially today, as we celebrate Canada Day. This is one of the most colorful and celebrated holidays in our country. A day filled with a lot of pomp and pageantry. Canada Day commemorates the Constitutional Act of 1867, when the colonies of Canada, Nova Scotia, and New Brunswick signed a unification, making the provinces independent into a single country. One of the Calgarians' favorite holiday in midsummer is Canada Day. Canada Day is a day where families and friends, born or immigrants, celebrate this country in its full diversity. Here in Calgary, there will be lots of home park activities, especially from here at Olympic Plaza, and then St. Patrick Island, Port Calgary, and many other places across the city and the whole country. Many family-friendly events full of music, dances, ethnic performances, fireworks, art and cultural displays will be live for everybody to see and to enjoy. And we hope to cap the best of this for you here on My City Speaks to Me. So what you gotta do? Stay with us. Don't go nowhere. We'll be right back. For this special day celebration, I've invited friends around the community to join me and share their own experience about Canada Day. And I'll be talking to several individuals in the course of celebrating this special day. Like I do on this show, don't move a muscle, stretch. We'll be right back. My name is Juan Vita. I am originally from Tanzania. I moved in Canada 10 years ago. I am happy to celebrate Canada Day today. Oh, in Swahili we say, Heri Akuzaliwa Canada. Ooh. What's your name? And my name is Tania and I was born in Saskatchewan. And I do say in Canadian, I'm sorry. In English, Happy Canada Day. Amazing. Hey. Yes, man, what's your name? Hi, uh, my name is Abisi. I was born in Margoro. Happy Canada Day in my language. But like I said in English. Oh. Happy Canada Day. Mm -hmm. And this is how we celebrate Canada. You know, the diversity of our people, the different cultural experiences we have in this country, make this country a unique one and a welcoming space for all. Yeah. Happy Canada Day, Equal Duo. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hi, 
Happy Canada Day! Say Happy Canada Day! Happy Canada Day! Happy Canada Day! Stella Marcin speaks to me on this special Canada Day celebration. I'm here with this beautiful damsel, thank Martha. You. How are you, Martha? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm very well. Thank you. So how does it feel to come out today, you know, to celebrate with people on this special day? Uh, yeah, of course. Today is Canada Day. So I love Canada Day because uh, it's, it means that happiness to me. You have to be happy. You have to be gathered together with the family. Yeah. You have to party. Actually, I invited everybody to my house tonight wow. to have party at night. And then it's my fifth uh, Canada Day in Canada. And just a month ago, I got citizenship. Wow! So this Canada, Canada Day means a lot to me. Amazing. And I'm so happy with that. So can I come to your house in the evening for the party too? Of course! Amazing. Come over! And if you're watching us, go look for Mother's House. You can get our address. <laughs> and let's go celebrate. Yes! It's a day we have to celebrate, we have to be happy, we have to wear red and white, and I love it. Amazing. Canada is my home now. Okay. Thank you. Now say it in uh, your language. Ruse Canada Mubarak. So what does that mean? It's Happy Canada Day. In what language? It's Persian. Persian. Yes. Thank you very much, Martha. Yeah, you're welcome. We'll be right Thank back. you. I was saying earlier that there's a, uh, a Greek knowing that believes that music can move your internal organs and reset everything in love and in kindness. And so I'm going to hand things over to the musicians. It is my very great delight. You heard them while they were just doing a tech check, so you know you're in for a treat. I'm going to hand things over to Perpy, who is known for her rich lyrical tone on the saxophone, who is a freelance saxophonist, songwriter, arts manager, and event curator, Perpy and her band.
still here at the Olympic Plaza. And behind me, in this giant pool, let's call it a pool today, kids, adults, having fun. Now, one thing is special and unique about Canada Day. How do you celebrate with our food? As a foodie, let's go check out some food trucks serving amazing food for Calgarians and Canadians on this special day. Let's go. Chalon Master speaks to me, the Calgary edition on this special Canada Day celebration. We're here live at Fort Calgary. We're going to be enjoying some spectacular display of traditional dances from indigenous community, from all different tribes here in Calgary, at Fort Calgary. So let's go and enjoy some amazing performances. Our flag bearers are entering the grand entry. Once again, we're listening to the beautiful sounds of the Soul Riding Singers. Carrying in the U.S. flag. Joe Brar, superintendent. We have we have the Inuit flag. Chad Toffet, deputy chief. The Métis flag. We have Alan Chamberlain, sergeant, Calgary City Police. Gentlemen, entering the dance area. We have our grass dancers, our traditional dancers. Our chicken dancers, they are all here in our immense category. Once again, we're listening to the sounds of the soul ladder singers from the Chicago Nation. Entering the grand entry now, ladies and gentlemen, we have Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to call on the mayor of Calgary of Mokinsus, Mayor Gondek. Thank you very much. Hello, everyone. Oki, it is a privilege to be invited to join you all today. Um, what an honor it is for me to serve this city at this time. On behalf of all of my city council colleagues, thank you for hosting us here today. Thank you for making our city an incredibly welcoming place for everyone. Uh, it has been a pleasure to go out to so many different events today throughout the city. We have been telling stories today. In fact, I just came from the library where I got to do a story time. 
The significance of Canada Day is that this should be a time when we are telling our stories of how we came to be here, how we were welcomed, how we succeeded, the optimism that we have for the future. At the same time, two things can be true at the same time. We also need to lift up the stories that haven't been told, the stories that have been suppressed, the stories that will be painful to tell and they'll be painful to hear. Indigenous people's stories in their languages about the things they've been through need to be told. We're here to listen, we're here to make sure that we never forget because this is a part of our history. Our history is complicated. We have an incredible country that we call home and there's history books that need to be rewritten to include everyone's tales. So I welcome you to talk to each other today, to find out a little bit about the people who are standing beside you, what their stories are, and let's make sure that moving forward, all of us feel that this is a place we can truly call home. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you. Big round of applause. Introducing our royalty. We're going to call on the, um, i going to find my list here. The uh, Senior Princess of White Bear First Nation, Lanissa Pesa. My name is Lanisa Ekus Pasup, and I'm from White Bear First Nations, visit, which is um, southeastern Saskatchewan. So I just want to say to all the people here in Calgary, all the Indigenous people from this territory, um, thank you for the big welcome. I attend U of C, and that's why I moved out here to Alberta. And um, all my relations, thank you for having me. Round of applause. The uh, Chutina Division One Education Princess. Cinnaba Little Light. Cinnaba Little Light. I am from Satana. I hope you all have a good day. See you Right on, that's awesome. Now calling on the uh, princess, the Kainai Junior Princess, James Bixorhorse. Hi, my name is Jim Bixorhorse. I'm from the Blood Tribe, and I'm the 2019 to 2020 Kainai Junior Princess. Beautiful ladies and gentlemen, big round of applause for our royalty. Thank you. Still on Master speaks to me on this Canada Day Special Edition. I'm here with an amazing individual, the Chief of Police of Calgary. Hello, sir, how are you? I'm, I'm doing great, Laundry. how about you? I'm very well. Uh, it's an honor for me to have you on this show and to be part of this power ceremony. Yes. Now, for the past two years, we've been all locked down. Yes. So, tell our audience how important it is for us to gather together like this yes. on this special day. I'm happy to. We're, uh, you can tell just from being down here, the types of, um, the, the, just the mood and the atmosphere and stuff like that is really electric. Everybody's happy to be out after the two years of lockdown, as you say. And great to have an Indigenous um, indigenous component and focus yeah. this year, uh, especially coming off of June, which is which is National Indigenous yes. Awareness uh, Month as well. Uh, so you can see all kinds of um, Calgarians have come out from all walks of life to be part of it, to learn about the history in the country, and just to, just to I think, honour um, Canada and, on, and honour the things that they've learned about truth and just to continue to, I think, move into that space of reconciliation. I think this is a, another great step toward that. That is amazing. If you have a word of encouragement for all Calgarians and Canadians on these days, what would be the word of encouragement? You know what, I think as we're moving back out of the pandemic and coming back together, the pandemic created a lot of divides, I think, a lot of uh, cracks in our society. Uh, and people were on two different sides of issues. And I think as you come back out, you can start to feel the humanity again and you can talk to people and discuss issues and, uh, and be able to sort of learn uh, about one another and learn about why people think the way they do. And I think uh, you can see people starting to come back together and, and society starting to just sort of operate better as one instead of just individuals. And so I would say just come out and engage. It's been a fantastic opportunity to come meet people. Uh, we've had a great day out here and uh, it's going to be a long day, a long Canada day all the way to the fireworks. Come on out and enjoy it. Thank you so much. I love the word. Come out and engage Absolutely. and enjoy the day. Thank you very much, sir. Andre. I appreciate it. Good to meet you. Welcome back. Still on my city speaks to me, the Calgary edition. On this special day, 
celebrating Canada's 155th anniversary. I'm here with some amazing, colorful individuals. Hi, how are you, sir? Good, good. What's the name? My uh, name is Bradford Big Swallow. I'm from Kanai First Nation, uh, Treaty 7 uh, area. And uh, this is uh, my wife, Sherry Soto, from um, from OT's First Nation, uh, Treaty uh, 8 territory. Oh, Treaty 6 territory. Amazing. Now, I love this colorful, you know, uh, uh, garment. Like the chief said, it's not costume. It's ceremonial garment, regalia. Now, uh, tell our audience the significance of this celebration and what we're doing today. Uh, we're having a powwow, and it's, uh, it's a social gathering, but it also it's a ceremony, and it, it brings our people together, and it's like a healing, uh, healing ceremony, healing dance. And, uh, you know, we, um, when we, we dance, we dance for the people, and we also dance for the ones that are sick, the ones that are... Um, that are struggling all that yeah. and then so when we dance we dance uh we dance for the people we dance mm. for all the ones that are uh, suffering and all that mm. essentially the dance is sort of therapeutic it makes people feel better yeah. yes about themselves and you know it uh and like each dance uh comes from uh from different areas. Before it was a social dance. Uh, each uh, each dance was a ceremony. Okay. And uh, to later throughout the years and all that, it's become a social gathering, social dance. See? Mm. So I represent the prairie chickens that come from uh, from the Sixiga Nation and the Blackfoot Confederacy. And so uh, my dance, we represent the chicken. Okay. And uh, my wife, she uh, dances the traditional. And it comes from the United States across the medicine line. Wow. And uh, it was also a ceremonial dance before it became a social dance. That is amazing. Amazing. Lovely. I love this uh, gathering. And uh, to me, this is how we build a community where we can celebrate with one another. And also brings awareness for all. Yes. And bring awareness for all. Thank you very much for your time. I appreciate this. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We'll be right back. I now to St. Patrick Island to bring you some behind the scenes of happenings on this special Canada Day celebration. So let's go check it out. Get in there. From the ashes will make the fire. Whoever I am, I know I'm not alone. We won't ask for anything anymore. We know that if we want it done, we'll have to do it on our own. It's our time now. Watch our numbers grow. Time means more every second that it goes. We're making something out of nothing. Pulling colors from the dark. We're making something out of nothing. We're building a fire from the spark. We're building a fire from the spark. Still on Mass City Speaks to Me, the Calgary edition on this special Canada Day celebration. I'm right here at the center of town, Chinatown, Calgary's Chinese Cultural Center. And I'm going to be bringing to you some exclusive and special Chinese cultural performances. Only on Mass City Speaks to Me, the Calgary edition, Canada Day special edition, like I did on this show. Drop of a muscle, stretch. Let's go inside and enjoy. Just say. My name is Phoebe. Happy Canada Day. Canada Day, Gong Heng Ji Fa Lo. Okay. My name is Jenny. Uh, happy Canada Day. Uh, Canada Day, Happy Canada Day. Happy Canada Day.
So we're here to wish you happy Canada Day. And we'll be right back. Solo My City speaks to me. We are live here at the Oakley Market. And I'm loving this dude and this beautiful damsel. How are you? Thank you. My name is Chris. Pleased to meet you. Nice Chris and Chai. Yeah. yeah, like Chai tea. Love Chai tea. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> now, something smells nice here. Yes. So this is the love spell. Um, it's like a sweeter scent. Um, so what we do is we make 100% soy wax virgin cocoa uh, candles. Okay. Um, made with wooden wick, uh, so you right. get a cleaner burn. Um, the one vessel like this okay. will give you up to 55 hour burn time. Lovely. Um, and you can also repurpose the vessels. Hmm. That way you can use it for planting. You can put um, uh, you can put some pens and like your makeup brushes in them. Now, when you started, you said love spell. Yes. So, what is the story behind that? So, you're saying, if I have this in my house, yeah. what's going to happen? <laughs> the magic. The magic. The magic. <laughs> How long have you been doing this? We've been doing it for about a year now. Um, so, the, we decided to... I started making candles uh, for friends. Okay. Um, uh, just because like we wanted to create something that's a little bit more cleaner than what you can get from like big box stores. Um, and something that will last you a lot longer mm. um, and that's how honestly from there it just got bigger and bigger and this is where we're at now amazing yeah. now for those who are watching us yeah. where can they find you website address yeah, email so address you can find us online at www.aminacandleco.com um, our instagram handle is Amina Candle Co. Um, uh, you can reach out to us via DM, um, make online purchases as well. We can also deliver within Calgary um, uh, if you were to make purchases um, like online. Now, for those who are watching this show today, you know, I want to encourage you to support local and go check out their store. The email address and the website address, you know, showing on the screen. This is smelling amazing. Thank you very much. I'll be right back. Something's always going around. Cold eyes judging our lives. Nothing is going down. What I read is like a front page story. Open the business like a paparazzi. Thinking of the top of a question in the end. They don't know about us. If they want to talk, let them talk. If they want to whisper, then so what? They don't know about us. Know about us. They don't know about us. Uh, 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 us. If you're gonna hate, let them hate Cause it don't matter what they say They don't know about us, know about us They don't know about uh, 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 us No sound, truth are getting around Let to give a telephone Call them on the phone, talk over this time They don't wanna leave us alone
another day could not end without the traditional fireworks. Before I say my goodbyes, I just want to remind you that this Canada Day might have come with mixed feelings, with many issues to work on, because we're all a work in progress. But holidays are a great way to bring the community together, strengthen ties, and open opportunities for debates and awareness, and encourage the feeling that making this country a better place is our individual responsibility. Thank you for hanging out with me on this episode of My City Speaks to Me, the Canada Day Special Edition. As always, I invite you to leave a comment or two on my page to know that you stop by and do kindly share this video on your socials. And until I come your way again with more exciting episode from around Canada on My City Speaks to Me, like I do it on this show, top of a muscle, stretch, see you around. Bye for now.